G'day all, welcome back again to Dad vs. Son and our continuing playthrough of Stalingrad 42, the full campaign from uh, GMT and Mark Simonich. And we're about to go on with turn 14. Um, so, at this stage, let's have a quick look-see. We had a little bit of a try to do something around Rostov and it just didn't work out we uh, we need to do a little bit better there that's fine now one thing that's been pointed out to me that I have been screwing up with attacks into cities is I thought yeah they didn't get the tank bonus but it appears they don't get the elite tank bonus as well so um, I'll try and get that right in future my apologies um, <laughs> I'm only subhuman Okay, so there's that. Um, we're moving up towards this way. Hopefully, yeah, we'll be able to take this out and start to invest Rostov a little bit more and do some damage there. Uh, we're moving up with some units to the south of um, Stalingrad whilst we're trying to move forward as well. Um, we've got some units across the Don here. So again, trying to um, push these back and get some infantry, especially up around into this area here, whilst we try and take out the rest of these very stubborn Soviet forces around here, freeing up more troops then to spread out a little bit take some more of these other victory areas and all the rest of it. Um, but I have to keep in mind that as of next turn, then the Soviet 8th Reserve Army over here will be free to cause lots of trouble and strife. So uh, at the moment, we're, you know, from a crushing the Soviet forces idea, each of these stacks, full stacks, are five counters. Um, so, you know, we're doing quite well um, overall. So, uh, but they've still got a lot more to come on. In fact, they've got nearly as much to come on as they've got off at the moment. Whereas, like I said, we're the next, oh, next swag of turns in fact um, we're mainly getting um, Romanians and um, Italians and stuff like that so uh, lots of units but not great units from that point of view so that's where we are at the moment I'll just bring the camera back here and we'll get into it so again we're still in summer for this turn and the following two, so we don't have to worry about that. We get our two aircraft still, which I'll just chuck on the board, ready to play. Uh, remove train markers, and we have two on the board at the moment, both over here. We've got this one for this supply, and this one for this supply. So, all well and good. No fortifications for us. Two resource points, again, will be supply markers. Um, I'm going to bring one north, um, and I'll train that on. So one up around uh, Z, coming through Kirst, and the other I'm going to bring on down south, um, to come up this way so that we've got something a bit better for uh, six army up there when it starts to play because we've got six army here 
And I've done that on purpose because Six Army, Stalingrad, all the rest of it. We've got one Panzer Army over here. Uh, I think we've got uh, 17th Army still down in Rostov. We've got the 8th Battalion south of the Donets. Uh, sorry, the, the uh, southern part of the Don here. Third um, Romanian up here, um, which still needs something. And four Panzer and two Hungarian are still good, but I've got second army that needs um, some supply up north as well. So that's that. Uh, Axis reinforcements. And we only have the one this time. And again, it's a Romanian infantry unit which I'm going to train on, um, probably down south to bring it up to these other Romanian units. I can get him up to at least here or here sort of thing, um, which is relatively close, which is good. Uh, replacements, and the Germans this time get one armour and one infantry. So the armour replacement I'm chucking over here, and that will be, whoops, for Remnant A, which brings back 14th Panzer Division as a reduced unit. So there she is. Um, I'll fix that up later when we get ready for movement and so forth. I can't find a German infantry that needs replacing, um, which is good, but it's just a waste of a replacement point, um, which peeves me a little. But um, that's that. So, no, we've lost that replacement. Uh, sorry, reinforcement. No, replacement, dickhead. Okay, so no leaders, and again, no planned defences, so we're into movement. Um, so, again, pause it there, come on back, see what we've got. Won't be long. Rightio, so we're ready to go on with it. Sorry about the uh, bit of light down here, I can't do much about it. So, um, I'm going to take this remaining unit here, and she's going to go... One, two, three, four, five, six, up to there. And this unit here is going to go one, two, three. This sec unit is going to go one, two. And this sec unit is going to go one, two, three to there. Um, this fella is simply going to come up onto there like that. Um, bringing on this uh, supply unit to the north, he's going to track. Uh, I'll just whoop, swap those around. He's going to track up the train line, train line, train line, and up to. Yeah, like that. Right, um, now, these two are simply going to go to here. This guy is going to come forward. One, two, so there. Four Panzer is going to come forward, half, one, half. Sec unit is going to come forward, one, two, three. And this unit is simply going to come where? One, two, three. This remaining unit here is going to jump the river. The same with this one here, like that. Um, this 
unit is going to go here and here. I'll just move him up to there. These two units here are going to go one, two, like that. Right, so that's everything there. Looking up this way a bit further, I'm going to bring these two remaining units up to here. These guys are going to go one, two, three, four, five, six to there. The cavalry units are going to go one, two, three, four, five. And this stack here is going to go one, two, three. So we can start to push some of these other units back. This stack here is going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. This stack here is going to go one, two, three, and try and take maybe take that out. Right, so that's everything north of the Don. Good to go. Now let's have a look at south of the Don. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to move this little fella in here for one, like that. And that gives us another victory point, taking us to the heady 10, which means we can now survive up until turn 20 at the moment. So can't argue with that. This fella here mm -mm, is going to go one, two, three, four. No. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this guy is going to mm -mm, go half. One, half, two, half, three, half, four, half, five, half, six. Just to be nasty, like that. The Italians up here are going to go one, two, three, four, five, they can go six because the um, support unit picks up the two halves for the roads, so it's still only moved five and will be marked disrupted, like that. Um, this little fellow, I positioned him wrong last time. Um, so he's going to go one, two, three, four to there. And this is a mountain unit. It's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, no, six, seven to there. Now, in here, I'm going to, if you can still see, I'm just going to move this mountain unit out. He's going to go three, four, five, six. And I'm simply going to bring in this unit here to give them a little more oomph. Um, those can stay there, so that's good. I've got these two supplies to come on. Uh, sorry, the one supply to come on and the Romanian replacement. So this supply here is going to follow the rail lines and keep following the rail lines until he gets all the way up to there. Uh, this 
Romanian infantry. Again, following rail lines coming on. And comes up to here, which I don't think you can quite see. So I've just brought him on up to here, following this rail line up. Um, Supply supposed to be there, is it? No, because I dropped it. Oh, uh, and again, my apologies. When I went through the uh, initial phase for the Germans, I forgot to uh, spend my supply to flip the 17th Army, so I've done that. Just so if you're uh, wondering what happened there. And then down here, I've got uh, the Italian Mountain Infantry. He's just going to come up. Um, I'm actually going to pull this bloke back one, and this bloke's going to come up one, two, three, four, five to there, like that. Right. This Romanian cavalry is simply going to come up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to there. I'm going to move um, third Romanian here, and they're simply going to go one, two. Okay, I've got this supply here that can follow the road up, so it's going to go half one, half two, half three, half four, half five, two there so i'll just leave six army there in fact and these two infantry units will simply go one two three four five six in fact six to there okay now the other units south of the don here um These ones are going to go one, two, three. These two will go one, two, three, and he's with them. This bloke will come over one, two, to there, and he will come over one, two, to there. So we can start to roll this line up. Um, one Panzer Army here is going to go half one, two. And these two infantry units here are going to go one, two, three, four, five, six to there. And I think that is about it. So again, we're looking at trying to do something down here, combat-wise. Um, we're looking at trying to do something here, combat-wise. Again, I'll have a look here, see what I can do now. Um, again, we're probably looking around this way, this way, and down around uh, this area as well. So, again, shan't be long, set it up, and then come back and uh, we'll have a look. Won't be long at all. Rightio, back and ready to go in our favourite vacation spot again, Rostov on the Don. Um, I'm attacking into here with these two stacks here, using air and using 17th Army um, support. I'm not using this unit for the simple fact, even if I use it, I'm still one short of bringing it up to four to one. So um, there's not much sense in doing it. So I'm just going to go at the three to one anyway and do that. So three to one. Let's get over to the chart. We do not want to see this guy do what it's been doing down in Rostov again. And it does exactly what it's been doing down in Rostov again. A bloody one. Okay, so we have an exchange. 
Okay, so let's look at the Defender first. Take the air off. Take this off. Um, now, that's a single unit. That's not going to do much at all. So I may as well take off the single unit. And that's their loss. Because they still would have ended up with five defence no matter what I did. So they've lost this single cavalry. Now, against us over here, take 17th Army off. They're not going to want to take that or that or that. And they've got the 23rd there. And they're all infantry. All right, so they're going to take this bugger here. Um, and I'm just going to take him off. I'm not going to make him a remnant. Of, well, well, well. Yeah, let's make him a remnant. Okay, so here comes remnant A again. Different remnant A. Uh, he goes up on there. <gasps> he goes back up on there as well. Okay. So... That's that. Um, now, exchange. No retreat defender. That's it. So, again, we go nowhere, do nothing fast. But we're nibbling away at him. And again, the reason I attacked over this way rather than here is because uh, this is where most of my attacking force is and I can get two stacks into there rather than just this one stack and this little bit here, which would have given me a whole, oh, two points. So uh, that's the reason for that. Okay. One battle down. We'll move up here. Dun, dun, dun. So we've got these two stacks here that are just have no visible means of support against this fortified hex at six to one. For a five, that's bloody better. A DS advance four. Okay. Do, do, do. So a DS, he's going to take, of course, that one because it's a single. He doesn't really care about that. Um, and then, of course, because he can. Um, he can't do a desperation, uh, sorry, a de determined defence. And he's not cut off, so he can't do a desperation defence. So he has to retreat four. And he's going to go one, two, three, four into there. And be marked as disrupted. Like that. And then we have our advance four. Right. So these guys are just going to slip into there, get rid of that. And what's in here? We have five, ten, we have eight. 18, which would be 2 to 1, 3 to 1, 4 to 1, losing 1, sorry, 18 to 10 is 1 to 1, 2 to 1, 3 to 1, which comes down to a 2 to 1 again, moving into there. So I don't want to do that. We're just going to move to here. And that'll do for the time being. And get rid of those. And get rid of that. Um, dun. Dun, dun, dun. So yeah, that other bloke could have retreated out this way, but 
that's going to start getting him out of supply and everything else. So it's just, it, it's not worth it in the long run. Um, I suppose you could have tracked up to here and back around through here, but you know, I've got forces right here and, and all the rest of it. So it would have just been a wasted effort. He's better off going back where he was. Okay, and following on with the Führer's orders, we're trying to attack across the Don here, punch our way through to Stalingrad. Uh, we're using six army support and we're using air. And even with that, we still only have a three to one. For a three. Three to one for a three is a DR2 advance two. Okay, so again, let's take this off and let's take this off. So he can do a determined defense. Um, he doesn't need a desperation defense or anything else. He's got support, he's got an elite. So the elite will be the primary unit, um, which gives him a plus one. I'm not, I'm not going to use the support this time. So he's got a plus one at this stage. Um, yeah, he's just in a town, not a city. Uh, yep, here we go, plus one. For a two, gives him a three in uh, yeah, pounds or other. Hang on a tick. Pounds. Yeah, uh, other. That's what he was. Um, so a three is a plus one. Oh, sorry, that is with the plus one. Is a fail with no losses. So he's got to go back two. So he's going to go back. One, two. One, two. And these guys will go back. One, two. Uh, they're marked disrupted. So those are disrupted. He's reduced on top. And he, why am I grabbing them? Uh, he is disrupted with him and that. Yeah, wrong one, I thought so. Okay. They're disrupted and they're like that. Okay. So that can come off. That can come off. Now we have an advance two. So we're going to go one, two, and that gives us another victory point, taking us to 11. And this guy will go one, two to there, like that. Um, now, Neither of them can do another attack. So hairy plane comes off. Okay, so that was pretty good. We've broken the line there. We've got um, a little Zog bond across there to stop them coming back in. We've got the follow-up infantry to help here. And we've got these forces coming around. So we're starting to get up and in there. Righto, we have two up this way, and they're both crappy attacks, but again, following the Fuhrer's orders. So we have these three infantry divisions against this um, armoured corps here, and uh, it's, it comes out as a two to one. It was uh, 18 
to five, which is a three to one, but he's got the armor bonus, so it takes it down to two to one. Okay. Two to one for a three is an A1 DR2. Okay, so let's do our A1 first. Like that. And he has a, a, a DR2. So he's going to do a uh, determined defense. He's in the clear with nothing in support. Um, so it's a straight up roll. For a four. Uh, in the clear for a four is a fail with no losses. So he's going to go back two. And he's going to go back uh, one, two, uh, one, two to there and be marked disrupted. And we have an advance two. Um, and they don't have a Zoc bomb because they're disrupted. So we go one. What well, we go one, two like that, I believe. Um, and that way we're going to force these two to run away a little bit further. Okay. So the next one again is here. Um, I didn't have enough to get these guys up the side. So again, it's just a little spoiling attack for two to one. For a five, which is an A1, D1, advanced two. Okay. Uh, do, do, do. I think he's going to lose this. This still gives him the best defense even though he doesn't have armor now so uh, that's the D one and the A one I'm just going to take on one of these Romanian cavalry and then he can do a determined defense um, and he's basically in the clear for a determined defense uh, with nothing going on to help him Oh, he gets a six, the bastard. There's a S11. So he loses his step, but he gets to pick which step we lose. And he's going to take our armor away from us. Our tank, I should say. Righto, which leaves us with a advance two. Um, so these guys are going to go one, two, and this guy will go one, two to there. Um, oh, we haven't taken our loss yet, have we? And he gets to pick, so of course he's going to pick one of our better units. And that's done. So again, yeah, we cleaned them up a little bit, but it's hurting us having to make these little tacks. Righto, we have two more attacks to do. We'll do this one here first. That's only a three to one um, due to what they've got there. <laughs> for a two. Three to one for a two. Oh, it's okay. DR2 advance two. Okay. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Righto, so, oh, he was out of supply. Yeah, that didn't matter. Doop. Okay, so he can retreat back this way or this way. So he can go one, two, or one, two. So he can't do a desperation, um, but he can do a determined defense. Okay, so determined defense, he is in a fortification, um, he has nothing else going for him, uh, no, 
for a two um, is a fail with no losses. So he has to come back two. Um, so he's going to go one, two. That stays on for the time being. That will just stay there. Okay, and then we got a, we got, we have an advanced two. So, um, we're going to go one, two to there, which gets rid of his fortification. Uh, in fact, no, I don't want to do that. Boop. This guy will simply come over to river like that. This guy will go one, and these guys will go one, two to there, like that. Which leaves our last one here. Again, uh, not using any visible means of support, uh, but we have a seven to one. I love seven to one. For a five, of course, is a DS advance four. Okay. Um, so again, he's going to lose the naval brigade. He can't do a determined defence. It's not allowed, and he can retreat, so he can't do a desperation defence. So he's got to go back four. So he's simply going to go one, two, three, four, and the, whoops, I didn't mark these guys either. He's going to be in full retreat, and these guys that I took out down here, out of supply and disrupted like that. And then we have an advance four. Okay, now. In this stack, we have 4, 9, 14, 16. Oops, sorry. And in this stack, we have 6, 12, 17, 19. And in here, we have lots. Okay, so in advance 4, this guy here is going to go one, two, which is as far as he can go with his infantry. I could split them up a little bit more, but I don't want to. And these guys here can come over one to here like that. Righto. So that's all our attack. So we've cleared a hole through here totally. We're rolling this up. And we're starting to invest Voronzev and uh, that's not too bad. And so far we've taken out a tank, a single stage motorized unit, a single stage cavalry unit, a single stage um, naval brigade and a infantry unit and two fortifications. So. Yeah, not great, but uh, we are moving. Um, but uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. So that is the end of combat, not the end of the German turn like I keep forgetting. So we have the recovery. So we can get rid of our replacement markers. So we'll take that off our armoured unit down at Rostov if I can pick it up without picking everything else up. We can take our disrupted off our Italian support unit. Um, and I think that's about it. I don't think we um, have anything else that is disrupt. We didn't have any more replacements, that's for sure. Um, no, that's it. Okay. Uh, so, Axis Railhead. So again, this one can't go anywhere. 
this one here um, can't really move up to there until we've got a unit there because he's going into a zone of control. Uh, this one here can go one, two. This guy comes down. Well, I think he was already there, so it doesn't matter. This guy's not going anywhere. Um, again, the Rostov one's not going anywhere, but we have this one here, which can go one, two up to there. So, yeah, that's not too bad. Supply status of our units, the Axis units. So, again, everything down here at Rostov can trace back through roads up and back and around and out. Same with all these units up around here and here. Um, this unit can jump out one, two and back. Same with all these units. Same with all these units. Uh, this unit can go one, two. He's gone and one, two and come back this way. And these can all come back through here as well. So we're good. Uh, no isolation attrition. SPs to flip good order units. So I've got a supply there, but I can't use it at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put that on like that so I don't forget it's there. Um, we don't have one down here. That's fine. Do, 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 do. We don't have one there. So we're going to have to bring one up. We've got one coming up here. And we've got this one for six army. You can now flip. And there we are. And that leaves just two supplies still on the board. And that's the end of the German turn. So all in all, not, not bad. Not great, but not bad. So um, did I take that one? I must have. I'll do a check anyway, but that's fine. So we're up to the Russian turn, so I'll pause it there. Um, and then come on back. It won't be long. Radio, ready to go on. So, uh, again, no air units, no train markers, fortifications, no none building. Uh, two resource points, and we're going to bring on two supply. Um, and I'm going to bring them both on... And again, if I got something, I'm going to bring them both on by rail. Uh, sorry, I'm going to bring one on by rail. Up north here. Um, and the other one I'm going to bring on down into the Caspian Sea um, to try and get him over for Tamman. Yeah, it's a big call, but... Uh, that's what we're going to try and do anyway. Right ho. Um, I've just put grey cubes out so I can see what uh, victory points we've taken. So I, I make sure I don't forget. So I've just got two here for Rostov at the moment. So yeah, I've got the 11 victory points. Um, right oh, So that's that. Um, Spend SPs to flip ASUs and, oops, I'm knocking counters off the bloody table again. Ah, ah one thing I forgot was that uh, when I retreated here with the Stalingrad support unit, it had a supply dump with it. So I've removed the supply dump because it's got no movement. 
at all. Um, so I've got to make sure that if they're looking like they're going to get attacked, that the uh, supply dump becomes mobile again. So, yeah, that was a screw up on my behalf, um, as of Ashen. So, um, so I don't think I have anything to flip ASUs with that need flipping. Uh, Axis reinforcements, and they pick up five this time. So they have a single step infantry, a elite infantry division, a normal infantry division, a normal infantry division that has got a bit of elite characteristics and a cavil uh, sorry infantry core. Um, and none of them are caucus units. So they're all going to come on. And what I'm going to do is try a little bit of a spoiling um, action and see if I can draw some forces away from here. So I'm actually going to bring all of these I'm going to bring three of these forces on. In A. And I'm going to bring the old whole lot on in A, in fact. Um, and try and break up... Um, the Germans fun and games. Okay. Right out. So that's the reinforcements. Replacements we have um, for the Soviets, I keep saying Russians, is one armor and two infantry. So the first one is up here, and that's going to be this armored unit, the first armored core. I'll just leave that there. And then with the two infantry. Uh, there and there. So the again, the NKVD here, and the infantry over here that everybody else ran to has become a replacement as well, like that. And that's their replacements done. Again, no leaders, no planned offences. We're into the movement. Um, I'll organise it and then I'll be back. Won't be long. Rightio. Good to go. So I'm just going to move around down to the caucus at the moment. Um, and we're going to bring this unit up. And he's going to come up. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And... The supply will come down here to here, so it can then rail up. Um, in fact, it can just go to there, and then it can rail. See, so hold way up here, down here, and move along. Okay. And I'm just leaving the cube on that one, so I don't forget it over there. Righto, uh, down here we have our North Caucus unit. Again, it's going to go half, one, half, two, half, three, half, four, half, five. And be disrupted. Get it up to Tamman. Uh, we have the NKVD replacement here. He's just going to move up one like that. Um, sorry. One like that. So he's stuck. Do a bit of a nasty for this bloke um, to try and cut off his supply. It's not going to work, but he's trying. Okay, and that's everything south of the 40 line. We're not doing anything in Rostov whatsoever. Okay, let's come north. Okay, let's be bastards. So what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to bring on these two here. Um, they're going to go one, two to there. And these guys are going to come on to here like that. And we go, whoa, ha, 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 ha. Okay, we've got this bloke here who is in full retreat. And I think I want to keep him in full retreat at the moment. So he's just going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Too many. Six to there. Um, these blokes. Let's see that. Hang on a tick. Dun, dun, dun. These guys here are going to do a nasty and they're going to go half one, half two, half three, three and a half and take on the Romanian cavalry. This guy's going to move back two, one, two, and this guy's going to move back two as well. Go one, two. Rid of those. Um, this supply here is being trained down, so it's just going to come straight down through in through Stalingrad and come back into here. Let's put the train marker on him. So we're going to have lots and lots there. This little fella here is going to go one, two, three, four, and cross the Volga uh, using the Volga flotilla. Like that. And then all we have left is this little fella here. He's going to go one, uh, two to there. Right. Um, I don't think there was anything else. No. So that's their movement done. Combat phase. Okay. So again, I'll just stop it there, have a quick look at what we're doing, and come on back. Righto, uh, we've got two combats, but one thing I wanted to point out, because uh, I don't want to uh, cheat the Russians, is I forgot to move this guy here who was disrupted out of here. Um, so I've just moved him back as part of their movement phase um, because I'd hidden it under everything rather than sticking on top like a uh, smart person would have done. Righto, so we're going to do one here. So we have this motorised and this armoured unit attacking the Romanian cavalry. It's only at a three to one because they've caught eight to four is one to one, uh, sorry, two to one, and they've got the armor is three to one, and that's it. Um, bum, bum, bum. Three to one. Oh, nasty for a six is a D1 advance three. Okay. So, of course, they're going to take the loss on this guy simply because this guy will still be three. Otherwise, they'd be down to two. They don't really want to take that loss, but um, it's a bit of a stiff shit factor. Okay. So... Uh, a D1, advanced three. There's no way in the world that I'm going to do a, um, a determined defense or anything else there. So we've got to go back three hexes. Um, so we'll go one, two, three to there and be marked disrupted. Like that. And he has an advance three. Now, he's only got eight attacks, so he can't attack into here. He can't attack into there. So I think what he's going to do is actually advance to the rear. And he's going to go one, two, three, like that. Right. 
Okay, and then the second attack is where we brought the uh, reinforcements on. And what we have here is these two stacks here, um, basically the four to one. And let's see how they go. Bit of mayhem in the background. It's almost more like partisans than anything else. The four to one for a two. There's still a DR2 advanced two, so he hasn't lost anything. So he's just going to drop back one, two to there. He'll be disrupted. Now they have an advance two. Oh, sorry. Helps if you put it on the right one. So this guy here has got two, six, nine. And this guy has got six. So I'm going to advance this guy. He's just going to move to there like that. And this guy is going to attack into here. So he's got nine to four is a two to one, which isn't great. I understand that. But they're trying to create murder and mayhem in the background. Two to one for a three is an A1 DR2. Okay, so uh, A1 DR2. Hmm. So I think what we'll do is we'll lose this free stacking unit. Um, and a DR2. I think he's out in the open. I think he's going to try a determined defense just for the fun of it. We're not going to give him any support or anything, but so <laughs> out in the clear, it's an S11. So we take one step loss. We don't have to retreat. Uh, and we get to pick his step loss. So uh, we'll take it on his major unit like that. And he's now not going anywhere. That was well done. Well done, those Romanians. I'm actually quite impressed with that. Okay, so that's the end of that. So again, we go into the uh, recovery phase. So for the recovery phase, full retreat up here becomes disrupted. Replacement marker comes off the armoured unit. Um, let me look around up towards this way. This disrupted and this disrupted come off along with this disrupted, this disrupted, this replacement, and this disrupted here. Um, like that. And then we come down this way and we have this replacement to come off and the disrupted off the North Caucasus uh, support unit. And that looks to be about it. Oh, no, sorry. I lie. I forgot these little fellows over here who were disrupted. Da, da, da. Okay, that's their replacement markers back over there. All those over there. Um, I'll have another quick read as well and see, because these were out of supply, if that disruption did anything to them. But I can do that off camera, so that's fine. So that's done. Uh, no um, railheads. Supply status. So our two axis units here can just go straight back and off. So supply status, not a problem there. Uh, these guys here 
and go one, two, three, four, and off. These guys here um, can go into one zone of control and then come up this way. So they're fine as well. Take that off now. These guys, these guys, these guys, and these guys can all come up this way. So that's fine. Um, now these guys here, so they're on a road, which is great. The road, they can't follow it this way. Um, there's no way they will, they can get up to A. They can't get back to B. Um, so what we're looking at is going south and trying to get off somewhere else. Okay, so they can't go this road to here. Um, they can't go this way because of this. They can come down. They can cross this road. They can come down here. It's a hell of a supply run, I know. Um, they can come down this way to here. Back up here. They can't go back up this way because they'll be going through zone of control and stuff, but they can get off all that way there. So they're actually in supply now. <laughs> it's a hell of a long supply route, but they can get off the uh, western, oh, sorry, the eastern end of the board. So good on them. No isolation attrition. Uh, spend SPs to flip. So if we look over here, with the Bryansk, we already had a um, supply on there. So we can flip him back over and he's good to go. That's one. Um, we haven't used him. <laughs> we haven't used him and we haven't got down there and we don't have one there. And I suppose there's a bear in there and a chair as well. Right. And that's that. So that's the end of the Soviet turn for turn 15. Um, so they've done a nice little spoiling attack in here. We're going to have to play around, get rid of these forces. That's good. Uh, the axis are tidying up in here. But this is going to be an interesting one because no matter which way we come in, we're going to have to try and come in take this guy out and then come up this way so we're not crossing a river to get into here or else everything's hard, they're doubled, it's a real pain in the uh, posterior. So we're getting there, we're cleaning this up, um, we're bringing the rest of the Romanians up. They had the uh, nice little spoiling attack over here and killed off uh, the rest of the Romanian cavalry corps or whatever it was. Uh, cavalry division um, and then moved back these guys have moved back and out of the way so they're doing fine um, they're in a bit of trouble here but again we're still trying to get forces up there and around and all the rest of it so they've still got time and remembering next turn they get uh, this stack here of people um, Rostov is still holding out um, even though we have forces uh, south of here and s south of the West Munch and all the rest of it so we haven't crossed over the 40 line yet so they're not getting their um, whatchamacallum transcaucus units so that's okay but we're clearing this out before we even attempt to get down that way so all in all uh, the axis is holding to their plan the Soviets are holding to their plan which is time for distance and everything else um, and pushing the axis as hard as they can so uh, we've only got when we come back 
we'll have two more turns of summer and then we're into the uh, autumn begin weather rolls hey. so we have 11 vps now um, so we're still at turn what we can do at the moment is still go up to turn 20 if we get one more vp we can make it to turn 21 which is the start of the uh, what do they call it? Rasputin, Rasputinsa or something. Sorry, I don't speak Russian. So that's about it. Um, sorry, this one's gone a bit longer, but uh, hey, that's live. So take care. Be good. Hope you're enjoying still. I know I'm making little errors in that. Uh, I'm trying to keep up with them. Um, but sometimes my head's not screwed on right um, due to... Uh, my condition and medication and so forth so i really do appreciate the uh, people that have come back with um, comments and corrections and and all the rest of it. Uh, it it does help it does help to really try and beat the rules into my head so i don't keep screwing up and uh, frustrating people but uh, yeah sometimes it's going to happen and i, I apologize but I am really enjoying this. Um, it's a it's a good game, and it would be very interesting to play it against somebody from either point of view, um, because there's a lot of defensive territory for the Russians, but there's a lot of open area for the Germans, the Axis people, to just go diddly bopping through the Bundus. We'll see what happens next. Take care and bye for now.